welcome back to the North Country Gentleman. I'm finally returning to my daily thoughts vlogs. I apologize for having, for having been away for so long. I was very sick this last week. I'm still kind of getting over it a little bit. And then we had a bunch of weeks to go to this weekend. And that's kind of what's put me in mind for what I want to talk about tonight. Um, life's too short, guys. Like, on the one hand, you got plenty of time. You know, never use lack of time as an excuse to put off doing something that's truly important to you. But on the other hand, life is short. You know, we never know when we're going to go. I mean, both wakes were for very young people, unfortunately, who passed very suddenly, you know, well before we would say they should have. So life's too short. You know, life's too short to be miserable. Life is too short to stay in a bad relationship. Life is too short to do something you hate because you're supposed to. You know, just because you're supposed to go to college and you're supposed to get the specific degree and you're supposed to have the specific job, but you absolutely hate it, there's no time for that. You know, find something in your life that you're truly passionate about. Find something in your life that... You know, when you wake up in the morning, you're excited to do it. You know, find that thing that all you can talk about is that thing. That's what you should be doing. Because you don't know how long you're going to have. I mean, you could live to be 100. With modern medicine, you probably will. But you could also die tomorrow. Get hit by a car, massive coronary fall down the stairs, break your neck, whatever. So don't waste the time you have doing something you hate. Don't waste the time you have trying to fix a relationship that's broken beyond repair. Don't waste your time thinking, oh, if I just stick it out, I can fix what's wrong with the person. No, you can't, all right? You can't fix what's wrong with somebody. Somebody has to fix what's wrong with themselves. The job you hate isn't going to get any better just because you stay there. Yeah, there's no sense in staying somewhere that makes you miserable just because you get to cash a check on Friday. You know, I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying quit your job without a plan, especially if you have responsibilities, you know, wife, kids, aging parents, bills, etc. But start laying the groundwork now to do something that you're going to love doing for the rest of your life. You know, there's this whole idea of a work-life balance. And I think it's stupid. Okay? The only time you need a work-life balance is when you're doing something that makes you so miserable that you have to have time away from it. If you're doing something that excites you, if you're doing something that you know, just thrills you every minute that you're doing it. It just, you can't wait to get back to that you're just completely in love with. Why do you want to take time away from that? That is your relaxation time. So find something like that. Find something that you can't imagine not doing and find a way to make that your job. You know, if you're stuck in a bad relationship, find a way out. All right, it's, it's not that hard. You have to understand, all right, I understand that it's hard, but you also have to understand that there comes a point in time where you just have to cut your losses and move forward and start spending time focusing on yourself. Become the better person. Become the person that you could be, that you want to be. And actually live your life stop existing and start living find a way to make make living your living all right don't waste the time you have it's not worth it and i guess that's really the entirety of my thoughts for the day um i hope you get some value out of it and if you like what i do here 
let you know the drill. Like, subscribe, share. If you are new to the channel, or even if you aren't new to the channel and you haven't done it yet, head over to my 100 subscriber giveaway video. Comment in the comments, like the video, share it with your friends. When we hit 100 subscribers, I will randomly... Subs I will randomly... <laughs> I will randomly sub select, wow, a subscriber from the comments list to receive a $50 bottle of Eau de Toilette. It's a $50 bottle of scent. I will not charge you anything. I will not charge you for shipping. It's all, you know, whoever gets randomly selected, it's all theirs. Um, as usual, guys, link to the Patreon is in the description if you are interested. If you are, thank you. If you're not, totally cool. I hope you keep showing up. I hope you still get getting value out of what I'm doing here. And until that, you know, until the next time, stay safe, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Bye.